What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Option Pro upcoming weekly webinar where we go over upcoming plays for this week. Before we get started, guys, please press pause and read this disclaimer. I'll be waiting here for you. Welcome back. All right, so let's get started. What do we have up on for earnings? For earnings this week, we have on Monday, nothing really after the close. Tuesday, before the open, PLTR. Pounds here, CVS, or two that we trade after the close. We have nothing after the close that we trade, but Wednesday is the big day. Before the open, Shopify reports. After the close, it's gonna be Fastly, Tilray, Twilo, uh, Sunpower, Stamps, a lot of plays. And then for Thursday before the open, Walmart. And then after the closes, Roku, Trade Desk, Dropbox, OPKO. And then Friday, nothing major that we trade. All right, let's look at economic news calendar. What we have coming from the, the data side coming out. On Monday, the markets are closed, as you, I hope, know. You can sleep in t tomorrow, guys. Uh, Tuesday, that shouldn't affect us too bad. Wednesday, retail sales. That's going to be something nice. Uh, business inventories. Hall Builders Index. And Foam Cup Minutes. This right here. This right here. Typically, at least to chop. Um, um, from 10 o'clock till two o'clock. Well, let's see what happens. Uh, Thursday, in the next year, jobless claims, housing starts, building permits, permits, and Philadelphia Fed. So the, the, that stuff, if you plan on swinging something Wednesday into Thursday, guys, you guys to know that the, 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 these things here could affect the market. Friday, the market manufacturing, PMI, and existed home sales. All righty, let's get to the charts. All right. I have three charts up here. I have the weekly, the daily, and the four-hour chart. On the, the, the daily chart, I have the 200 and the 50 simple moving average. Nothing else, guys, and a volume. It's all you need. All right, let's get started here. All right, so supply was very bullish last week. As you see here, well, the past two weeks, uh, as you can see here, guys, uh, if you check out the, 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 the daily chart, she's actually breaking out of her wedge right now. She, she, uh, she broke all-time highs on Friday, closed at all-time highs. Let me just bring up this five-minute chart here. We were trading Tesla on Friday at the close, right? And it, and this just kept going up and up and up. And that, that helped all of the stocks like Tesla and stuff just shoot up there. All righty. What do we have in store for this week? All right, so this 395 break right here will be the key break. And we will break that 395 by Tuesday, right? I see us hitting 400 this week. If 390, if 395 doesn't break by Tuesday, guys, I'm thinking we're gonna hit this 394 and reject back down towards that 385 level here somewhere. So the levels I'm staring at, obviously 395 up towards 400. If that 400 breaks, uh, we could uh, freeze up around 40250 area. On the downside, a break under 388, we're gonna drop down towards that 385 level. If that breaks, it's gonna be 38150 area. All right, let's check out the Qs. Qs as well at an all time high here. Let me adjust this. Right there. All right. Still riding this trend line up. But we're 
Weekly trend line up. The, 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 the daily is staying quite strong as well. All right. So she's going to push up towards that 340 level. A break of that is going to be 342 and 343. On the downside, a break on the 330. Guys, we can drop back down towards 326 and then 324 area. Let's stare at VIX. Let's see where, where we're at now. All righty. First time for... In a long time, we're back closing under, closing under $20. That's huge. We typically hit it and head back up. We hit it, head back up. But now we're actually closing under it. It's kind of big there. All right, so a break under this 19, well, 1850 guys, we're going to drop down towards that 15 area and then the 10. I haven't been by there in a long time. All right, let's get started here. All right, first stock we're looking at is Apple because it's first on my list. All right, if you look at the weekly chart, she's been holding strong on that trend line. If you check on the daily, the action here has been trash. So we'll break over this 137. We're going to crawl back up to this 140. We'll break up 140. We're going to shoot up towards that 145 again. A break of that. It's going to be 147.50, 149, and 150. On the downside, a break under 130. We're going to drop back down towards this 125 and 120 area. Not a fan of this right now. Airbnb. Activate this first trend line, clean this up a little bit. Now let's do right around here. All righty. Very strong. She's, she's been paying great. All right, so a break of this 220 level. Break of this 220. Bring this 220 guys. We're gonna head up towards that every $10, 230, 240, up until probably around 248. It should reverse around there. If that 220 is rejected, a break under 210 guys, trade back down towards 200, 194, and then this 187 area should hold. Let's cover some weed. ACB reported bad. That's not what caused her to drop. All weed stocks dropped the same way. It was brutal for people that had uh, uh, calls swinging it Wednesday into Thursday. I went to sleep happy, up $10. You will walk up even happier. It was still up. And then around 9, I think it was around 9.20, somewhere at 9.15, it's just reversed hard on, 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 on the swing. So, again, guys, shit happens. You cannot hold that in. You know, you had a great setup. You had a great play. You took a great chance. You were up nicely. But the, the market screwed us. Well, it screwed you. I am swinging myself. I'm not a fan of swinging stuff at highs, personally, you know, so. All right, ACB, let's get back on track here. ACB, a break over that 17 level. Just shoot up towards that 1950 area, $20 area. it can be hard. A break under this, 11. Not a clear sign. Not a great play, but down towards $9, $8 area. Not a fan of it. Let's stay with weed right now. CGC, H setup right here. All right, so a we'll break over this for 45, trade back up towards 50 and 52, 52.50. On the downside, a break, break on the 38, trade it down towards 36 first. Then stay cash here under. 32 traded back down towards 30 and 28. 
All right, let's look at what else do I have up here for weed? Um, to right. I'll break over 35, trade up towards 40 and 44. On the downside, I'll break under 25. I'll break under 25, trade down towards 20 level. Look at this little trend line here that just exploded. <laughs> Little poor trend line. Uh, keep going here. All right. And one more S and the uh, all right. So I know oh, blah, blah, how people grab calls on Friday and on Thursday saying I'll buy the dip. So we'll break over three, trade it back up towards four. On the downside, a break under 160. Say one. 175 traded down towards 125 area and then one dollar. All right, let's get back on track here. AMD. Let's see if we can find any kind of lines trade. We draw this right here. I like that right there. All right, it hits it here twice. Right here, it hangs around it. Well, it rejects it here one time. Here, it hangs around it, hits it here three times, and it's hitting here at the close on Friday. All right, so I'll break over this 95.50 level, trade this up towards 97.50, 99. Now, this 100 of Bible guys has been tough. Oh, we hit it, we reject, we hit it, we reject. Oh, we have a great setup right here. One time, two time, three times. All right, so if she could close on the, the, the daily chart over this trend line, say $95, a close over 95 on the daily trend line on a Monday or Tuesday, right? I could see her pushing up towards 100 easily. If that 100 breaks this time, She's going to shoot up towards 10250, 105, then 108 level. If we reject this 95 now, there are no great trades inside of here, right? The great trade is going to be a break under 8750, trading it down towards 84 and 80. All right, Amazon. Shopify reports on Wednesday before the open, I think it was. Uh, Amazon's here right now. Not a clean setup. We could draw a trend line right there that I see right now. Take this and draw this down just to get that ready. Just to have that there for us. The, the, that trend line. I'm gonna hold it here still, just for that I'm breaking through it. She broke through it here and came back down. So, so, so it's still been a, a magnet for us. All right, so the aggressive trades are our break under 3,200, traded down towards 3,150 and then 3,100. If that 3,100 does break, traded down towards 3,050 and 3,000. If for some reason that 3,000 breaks, guys, say we hit a, 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 a 29, 90 level, right? And it's still, and it pulls a bit back up towards uh, 3,000 and then starts dropping back down. Please, please, please do not waste that, that play. Get into that play. You want to catch that play. A failure to hold 3,000 is going to drop easily down towards 2,900, 2,875 area, easily. All right, on the upside, a break over 3,340, trade back up towards 3,400. Why do I have all these lines here? I don't know. Yeah, I see. All right, so a break over this. 
the, the, the 3340 trade up towards 3400, 3460, and then 3500. Keep it rolling. BA, I'll handle this in the pre market. Baba paid great last week. Oh, we got the, 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 the next big play, guys. Alibaba is at break over 280, trading up towards 290. Now, we still have some trades before for that. A break over 275, traded up towards 280, 290, and then there's 293 available. On the downside, a break under 260, traded back down towards 250 and 240. I do. I totally missed this on Friday, man. Goddamn, I'll alert to the didn't go off. But we do have a nice H setup right here. A break over 323, trades up towards 330, 335, and 340. On the downside, a break under 295, trade down towards 290 and 284. Blink is kind of choppy here. Not a clear setup. Not clean. I'll handle that in the pre-market. Beyond. Beyond now, a break over 180, traded up towards 186. And 195. A rejection right here of 180. I'm not going to trade it inside of here. Here is it, it, it's a lot of oh crap. So the premium will drop as hard. So I'm looking for a break under. It's 165 area, traded down towards 160 and then 150. Citibank, a break over 64, a trade this up towards 66 level. On the downside, a break under 62, traded down towards 61 and 60. Let's take the all banks right now. Goldman Sachs at highs as well, a break over that. 310, let's say. The highs are 310.65, but a break over that 310, guys. Trade this up towards 315 and 320. A break under 300, trade back down towards 295 and 290. JPM at highs as well. A break over 143, trade up towards 145, 147.50. A break under 139, trade down towards 137.50 and 135. All right, let's get back to where we are. CCIV, uh, we're handling in the pre market. Chewy broke out. Are we told about this on Friday? Pre market, she blew up. Now, a break over this 120 area, trade is up towards 125 and 130. The ideal setup would be a pullback towards this 115 level and then trade it up. On the downside, a break under, I don't even want to trade it down here. All right, CRM. All right, she's held that to 40 area. A break over 241.50, trade up towards 245 and 250. On the downside, I don't like it. CRMD. Oh, I have a swing on this still, guys. I hope you guys are st st still holding this, guys. I hope you're still holding this. Trust me. She's going to explode. Look at that H setting up right now as well. Look at that beauty. She's going to pay nicely. Crowd strike. I don't like trading it. The data dog reported good numbers and she still dropped. So a break over this 115, trade up towards 118 and 120. A break under 108, trade it down towards 104 and 102. 
Disney. Great numbers and has dropped. A break under 184, trade down towards 180 and 175. A break over this 191, trade back up towards 195 and 200. DKNG, a break over 62, trade up towards 64, and then 65. If that 65 does break, it's going to be 68 and 70. The Facebook, they announced on Friday after the close that they are making their own uh, Facebook watch now. So we'll break over that 275, trade up towards 280. If that breaks, it's 285 and 290 every $5. On the downside, a break under 265, trade it down towards 260 and get out. Few sell, don't like right now. I'll handle that in the pre market. FedEx, a break over this 266, trade up towards 270 and 275. Now she can reject at 265 area. So I'm saying a trade over 266 up towards 270. On the downside, not a fan of it. FEYE. A break over that 22, trade up towards 23. Not crazy about this as well. A break under 20, I like more, trade down towards 18 and 17. Fastly reports this week. Break under this 99, trade down towards 95. A break over 106, trade up towards 110 and 115. And then it's going to be this 117 area. Fubu, for you, I'll buy you. Or for us, a bias. Uh, the aggressive trade is a break under 42.50 down towards 40, then 38. Every two dollars down, right? The upside is not as clear. It's a hard trade on the upside for a, a scalpel, for a day trade. The easy trade is going to be a break over 55, trade up towards 60 and 63. Inside of here, it's going to be a hard trade. So I'm going to handle that at, at another time. GOGL at highs, nice little flag here. As you can see, a break over this 21. I'm gonna say 2110. Safe trade is a 2115. Trade up towards 2125 and 2150 area. A break under 2050. Trade down towards 2015, 2000, and then 1950. INTC. A break over. I'll handle this in the. Pre market, not a clear setup. JKS also, I handle that in the pre market. JMIA, she's gonna set up soon and she's gonna blow up soon. Just have her on watch, guys. Get that alert at around 65 and alert at 67.50. LMND, trade this on Friday, it was nice. A break over 170 now, trade up towards 180 and 184. On the downside, a break under 160, trade back down towards 150 and 140. Mara, you how to trade now Mara and Riot and Square at PayPal guys is follow Bitcoin. If she's going up, they're going up. If Bitcoin is dropping, they're dropping. All right, so now I'll break over that 41, trade it up towards 42 and 44. I'll break under 34, trade it down towards 32 and 30. All right, let's stay with them. Riot. Riot had a crazy day on Friday, well, Thursday and Friday. Had a crazy week, actually. Look at that. <clears throat> 
The aggressive trade is a break over 50 now, trade up towards 52.50. The safer trade is a break over 52.50, trade up towards 55 and 57.50. On the downside, a break under 45, trade back down towards 42.50 and 40. She moves in and 50 guys. Every 250 she goes in. All right, let's look at PayPal while we're doing these coins. She's at highs. Um, I break over that 302, say 305, trade up towards 310, 315, and we'll hit 320. On the downside, downside, a break under this 296, trade back down to 290, and stay out of it because this is all chop right there. Square. Crazy, crazy square. Let's do edit uh, 273.84. All right, so she was trying to hit that 285 on Friday, but she kept hitting this area and kept rejecting it right there. So we're looking for a break over 275 now trade up towards 277.50 and 280. On the downside, a break under 264 trade down towards 260, 255, and 250. All right. Where were we now? Uh, Narrow that we're doing. All right. Netflix. Not clean. Break under 549, trade down towards 540. Inside of here, I'm not trading it. The aggressive trade on the upside is a break over 560, trade back up towards 565, 570, 575, and 580. If that 580 breaks, she's gonna squeeze up towards 590 and 600. Neo. Take this out now. It's no longer being respected. She's in a ch ch chop right now, so I'll handle her in the pre-market tomorrow. Now I'm gonna handle that in the pre-market tomorrow. NVIDIA. Alrighty. So they were reporting on for Friday that uh Alphabet and them are 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 whoa how the government to check their the deal. So that was a bad news. So I'll break under this 590 now, trade it back down towards 580 and 575. Break over, the aggressive trade is a break over 600, trade back up towards 605, 610, 615. The safe trade there's a break over 605, trade up towards 610 and 615. But she should have some more downside in her. She paid great on, 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 on Friday. That drop was great. But swing-wise, she could go up or down right now. So see, see, see what happens tomorrow. Uh, I'll handle this in the pre-market. And this in the pre-market. Not gonna do this right now. Break on this 195 trade back down towards 190, and then 180, 250. On the upside, it's a little bit different. A break over 205 trade up towards 208 and 210. Pen, a break over 122 trade up towards 125, 130. On downside, a break under 110, trade down towards 10750, 105, and 100. Pins. She hasn't broken yet off that Microsoft news. But a break over 88, trade up towards 90 and 92. On the downside, a break under 8250, trade down towards 80 and 7750. PLTR reports this week. I take this off now because she broke it and closed under. 
PLTR, a break over 34, trade up towards 36 on the downside. Not liking it no more, but a break under 3150, trade it down towards 30 and stay out of it then. Plug, I'll handle this in the pre market. Peloton is looking great for a swing. We spoke about it on Friday. The Peloton's 165 in May looked good. Oh, break over this 160 now, trade up towards 165, 167, and 170. On the downside, a break under 150, trade back down towards 145 and 140. PayPal, we did. QCOM coming up, guys. A break over 152.50, trade up towards 155, 157. A good swing for this would be March, March, the $160 calls, guys, look good. Or I was looking at the April. Was it the April? I don't like it so far out. The one eighty five was just so far out. It has crazy volume on it. Wow, it's a lot of volume. I didn't see that. You could do the Junes. Cool guys, the June's 160s look great. All right. All right, so I'll break over 150, 250, trade up towards 155, 157, 50, and 160. On the downside, I'm not a fan of it, but a break on the 145, trade it back down towards 140, and then this fill right there. QS, a break over 60, trade up towards 68, 74, and 80. On the downside, I don't like it. Roku reports Thursday. Roku is flagging. Roku is at highs. Roku, a breakover. The aggressive trade is a breakover one, a breakover 475 trade up towards 480, 485. If that breaks, it's going to be 500. A break under 460, trade back down towards 450, 445. Shopify reports on Wednesday before the open. Shopify is flagging also. Shopify is at highs. Shopify over 1480 is a quick scalp up towards 1500. Now, if she breaks 1500,